Well, friends, welcome back to the doghouse today. Got more stories to tell about them East Texans. Uh, this one's really cute. It's a story about Johnny B. Waller and the, and the fight in which he saw one man bite another man's ear off. Johnny B. is a real nice guy. He's pretty laid back, don't bother anybody, kind of takes care of his own business. Matter of fact, uh, he not, I don't know of him ever interfering with anybody's business. But one day, Johnny B. went to center. He went up there, had his overhauls on, and walking out through there, and lo and behold, there was two guys got in a fight. Their families had been arguing and carrying on. Johnny B. seen the fight, you know. Well, in the midst of the fight, one man bit the other man's ear, slam off. Well, of course, you understand there was a big row over this, a big whoop to do, and Old Johnny B. being the witness, uh, he was deeply involved in it, which went against his nature because Johnny B. just wasn't one to get involved in other people's business. So sure enough, this thing come to court. They brought old Johnny B. in there, swore him in, and the guy that had actually done the biting had him a big, fancy city lawyer. And that city lawyer got up there and he pranced around. Of course, old Johnny B. on the stand with his overhauls on looking at him. And the guy said, now, uh, would you mind telling us your surname? Johnny B. said, uh, so what? He said, uh, share with us your surname. Johnny B. said, uh, what you talking about, man? And that lawyer looked at him, kind of sniffed a little bit. And he said, uh, your family name. Oh, Johnny B. said, oh, you mean my back name. My back name be Waller. And my front name be Johnny B. Johnny B. Waller. That's my name. That's my name. Sure enough. Well, that lawyer pranced around there. He said, well, Mr. Johnny B. Johnny B. said, that's me. That's me. That's good enough. He said, Mr. Johnny B. said, uh, you claim to be a witness to this here fight between these two guys here. Johnny B. said, yeah, man, right there and that right over yonder. And that lawyer said, you claim to have seen this man bite that man's ear off. Johnny B. looked kind of puzzled. He said, would you repeat that, sir? He said, you claim to have seen this man bite that man's ear off. Johnny B. said, no, sir. So that ain't what I claimed at all. And lawyer backed up and he said, wait a minute here. He said, you mean you did not see this man bite that man's ear off? Johnny B. said, no, sir. He said, uh, I, I never said I saw this man bite that man's ear off. Boy, that attorney, he backed up there. He pranced around. He said, you mean to tell me that you have come in this court claiming to be a witness to this fight, that you allege that you saw this man bite that, ear, that man's ear off, and you didn't see this man bite that man's ear off? Johnny B. said, no, sir. said, I, I rightly did not see this man bite that man's ear off. Lawyer said, that beat anything I've ever seen or heard of in my life. Come in here and waste the court's time claiming to have seen this man bite that man's ear off when you didn't see any such thing. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Johnny B. looked at him. He said, well, now, wait a minute here, sir. He said, there's something you've overlooked here. He said, sure enough, I did not see this man bite that man's ear off. Sure didn't. That lawyer said, well, you ought to be ashamed. No, sir, no, sir. said, I didn't see this man bite that man's ear off, but I sure enough there when he spit it out. Sure enough there when he spit it out. 